Ryan, I know one thing is that you love bargain hunting. That's one sure. that always seems to be a central theme with you. So you, you must feel pretty good about what's going on right now. Yeah, I do, and I like to be a contrarian as well. Um, and I look at the, you know, if you look at the survey of money managers from Bank of America like two weeks ago, of course, they're all sitting with more cash uh, than they've had literally in years. It, like, you look at the bottom of the, of the credit crisis, they had the most cash. And when the tech bubble burst, and when you got a lot of bad news, and you got money managers sitting in cash, I always say good things happen. You know, the skills to pay the bills, that's why I've been staying invested here, because what happens here is markets start to, to move up. You start to get a melt-up because money managers are feeling the pressure. Right. They haven't been in. The S&P 600, small caps, trading at a 4 PE of just 12. I yeah. mean, Ryan, there's got to be some opportunities there. That's as low as a financial crisis. That's how crazy <laughs> it is. I mean, and if you look at it historically, when we go into recession, and I think we did have a recession technically, we can argue about that all day, uh, small caps tend to underperform, which they did. But now for theoretically coming out of a recession, I think GDP growth is going to be solved this year. They should outperform. They did when we came out of the pandemic. They did at the end of the financial crisis. They led the way as well. So you've got to have small caps in your portfolio. Core with the small arts. caps, though, do you focus on the ones with the great stories or the ones that are actually making money? Because the ones with yeah. great stories did amazing yeah. coming out of the pan, you know, that pandemic bottom. Uh, but now it feels like they've got to have something to it, a little bit more umph, a little bit more <laughs> in the fundamental side. <laughs> I'm going with the theme of this show, making money, Charles. And I think it's all about companies to make money because inflation is coming down, Jim's right, but it's probably going to be higher than it was the last 10 years. And we know in a higher inflationary environment, tech doesn't do as well, even though we're getting a big bounce right now. Your cyclicals do well, and companies have profits in the immediate. And I think that's critical. Most portfolios are not positioned that way. Yields are in free fall right now. And rallying hard, right? I mean, junk bonds go up like 5% last month, which says we're not going to recession. I mean, the job market is just too hot, right? If you look at it right now, I mean, at 3.6% for every 1.8 jobs out there, only one person looking. Although right. we saw the jolts number come down, the fastest three-month yeah. decline yeah. in history outside of the pandemic. But 10.8 million jobs. Yeah. Yeah. But that's two months late. I yeah, bet yeah, you, yeah. I'll bet that's money fair. that there's going to be a, a real ugly number. If it's not tomorrow, it'll be the month after.